Hi Cubies, here's Sir Alexandra and welcome to episode 467 of Enjoy Your Plastic. Well, to all of you that are new to the channel, hello and why the hell would you start with such a late video? But, well, since you're here, we can start. <laughs> Hi Cubies, <clears throat> well, uh, today we are fighting this plastic here. Uh, this is a Stormcast Eternal. Uh, sequitor and uh, well today's video uh, is heavily inspired uh, by an Instagram uh, user named Luthien underscore nine nine. Uh, a link to his page is uh, down there in the doobly doo in the uh, towel section in the description and uh, well uh, he paints a, a very um, dark uh, and sinister uh, looking Stormcast Eternals, and uh, I want to uh, emulate that. His color scheme is uh, dark metal uh, for the armor, then uh, yellow on the shoulder pads, uh, a dark grimy yellow, and uh, a beige uh, tone for the uh, for the cloth, and uh, very dirtied and beaten up. So we try to emulate that. As you can see here, I have primed him. You see there's a little bit of the blue plastic still showing through where I didn't have uh, sprayed enough, but that's totally fine. Don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. So, <clears throat> as you can see, uh, he is not completely stick to uh, his base. That's uh, simply because uh, I want to be able to uh, paint down there. So, um, if you hear construction noises in the background, sorry for that. Uh, for over a month now we have uh, construction workers here in the house they are working on the roof and uh, sometimes drill noises and hammers and uh, all that fun stuff uh, can be heard and um, there's nothing that I can do about it sorry about that so um, <clears throat> I'll be right back and uh, well we will start with the painting so there I'm back and uh, now we start mixing up our first color we use a Vallejo model color stone gray for that. <clears throat> don't worry, I have uh, just switched to a different pot. You know me, I don't like dropper bottles. Let me put that on our palette. And we will darken that with a dryad bark. Or any other dark brown tone that you have. I'm not judging if you're using Vallejo or Scale 75 or Army Painter. We don't judge here. We just paint. We have fun painting miniatures. Fun. It is fun, yes. Lots of fun. We are adding a drop of water. Bloop. To make the color flow better. <coughs> and then is enough to start undercoating the cloth underneath. Yes, this is quite a messy stage, but <clears throat> nothing to be feared. Just do it. Go in there and Paint it. Yeah. Just like that. Don't fear the plastic. Enjoy the plastic. Be one with the plastic. Let the brush be an extension of your fingers. And feel the miniature from the inside. Um, I think this is going too far. <clears throat> Sorry about that. We are still a uh, PG-13 channel here. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding! So, um, I will finish up uh, <clears throat> painting this color all over the cloth now and uh, be right back in a second. Okie dokie, now we are back in business as you can see. All the cloth is painted. Uh, I have also taken the liberty and painted the base in the same color. Mm. But girl painting, wouldn't the base and the cloth look the same if you paint them in the same color? No, idiot. 
because we are treating the uh, cloth different than the base. Well, let's start with a different treatment. We will start with the Vallejo model color stone gray again. Give it a good shake and then uh, we are taking our nice soft uh, uh, pencil, lead shutten pencil, <laughs> uh, size uh, 034. It's a very nice soft bullet tip dry brush. <coughs> we take our color on the palette and then we remove the excess and we will gently dry brush the whole thing. But why aren't you not painting the armor first? Well, stupid. As you can see, dry brushing is a messy thing and we are getting color all over the miniature. If I'm painting the armor now, before this stage, we would ruin our work. And we don't want that. So, do the dry brushing before all the other stuff. But girl painting, normally you wouldn't dry brush at all. You always say dry brushing is stupid and looks bad. Well, that's right, my impatient friend. But <clears throat> in this case, we want to uh, have the dirty feel on this miniature. We want to have it uh, grimy and dirty and uh, <clears throat> beaten up looking and... In that case, uh, dry brushing actually helps that look. <clears throat> so, turn it around and do it from the other side. No witchcraft. It's quite easily done. So, <clears throat> and with this stage done, we will now start highlighting uh, the stone grain. So for that we need a little bit more on the palette. Just like that. <coughs> and now uh, we will mix in some white. I use now scale color 75 white for that. But you can use any white, Army Painter white, Games Workshop white, Vallejo white, P3 white, whatever you choose. And then we will very gently dry brush again. And try to hit the higher spots than before. Mm, I think that could be a little bit more white in it. Why don't we do that? <clears throat> so to keep your uh, brushes always in good condition, 
uh, try to avoid uh, filling the uh, brush up to the edge of the metal. Otherwise, you end up uh, with a stiff one like this here. See? It is hard, it's solid in there. And you don't want that. Ah, now you can see it. Very gently. Gently and firmly pressing. <coughs> and Volterra, we have done it again. So, and now for the final highlight, we take almost pure white. There's a little bit of the other color in there. Very gently on the, the absolute top parts. Yeah, sometimes even in a more stippling motion on flatter surfaces and more dry brushing motion on edgy surfaces. And there we go. <coughs> the cloth is done. Well, I will quickly uh, wash out my brush and be right back. Well, Cubies, if you uh, take care of your brushes, they will last a long time. So, back to business. Um, what do we have here? We have black and black metal. And we will mix those two together. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, we will create a really, really dark metal tone. So take the darkest metal tone that you have and add black to it. <clears throat> In a about 50-50 mix ratio. Yeah, that should be enough. 
mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix. So, really, really dark. <coughs> Darker than dark. Even dark, dark. So, and now we dark, dark this dark down here. So, dark, dark, and dark, dark, dark. And as you dark, you can dark and uh, even darker. And if you dark that uh, dark enough, then it will dark. You dark? Dark. <coughs> so. People ask me why I have uh, make often uh, cuts in my videos. Well, that's because I like to hear music while I'm painting and YouTube doesn't like when I have music in my videos. And so, I prefer making cuts. <laughs> yeah, and the construction noise is also not helping. So, uh, you get the point. I will paint all the metal parts now uh, in this dark silver and be right back. Okie dokie, as you can see, all the metal parts are uh, sufficiently uh, metalled. Um, and now it is time for uh, some brown work. And for that uh, we use now Rhinox Hide <coughs> for some proper brownage. So, let's brown things up. Here a little for some leather parts and exactly at this moment when I start recording in the background we hear a drill. Excellent. So I will quickly skip to the point where uh, all the brown parts are painted. Be right back. Okay, the drilling has stopped for a moment and uh, we have reached a sufficient uh, amount of brownage on the brown parts. So now uh, we will uh, start to cover up the yellow parts and my uh, cat starts to annoy me right in this moment. Well, this painting tutorial is uh, right good from the get go. Uh, we will mix now Mornfang Brown and Zamezi Desert uh, for some... Uh, nice yellowish base coat and my cat wants food but uh, well she knows it's an hour too early for that but she insists as you can see as you can hear well we have now here our base coat for the yellow So, if you understand cat, please translate for me. I think she wants food, but I'm not quite sure. If you could elaborate on that, I would be very, very, very interested. I think now she has settled on dry food. Because I am ignoring her. So I will finish up uh, the yellow parts also on the shield and on the other side and uh, give my cat some food until a moment later. Okie dokie, there I'm back and now the uh, yellow base coat is also applied and it's time uh, to darken now this base <coughs> and for that we use uh, straight up null oil oh no uh, we make it darker we take a uh, contrast paint black temper for that <coughs> let's see yeah that's a little bit too dark so let's give it some drops of water yeah that should be good okay there we go. You see, you can uh, adjust your contrast paints right on the miniature for what you need. Right in that moment. I wanted a darker version of a black wash, but not too dark. And 
there we go. So that uh, needs to dry now. <coughs> so let's put that quickly to the side. And uh, for uh, continuously painting on that miniature, I'm quickly grabbing here another one of the miniatures. Uh, not this one. Let's take yeah this. And use this base instead. So. Okay, it holds nice. Another miniature holder. Okay, there we go. With that, we can work now. <coughs> so let's place that to the side so it can dry. And uh, we will focus now on uh, highlighting here uh, the shoulder pads. <coughs> and uh, for that I use a stippling brush. Here yeah, this is a small Artus Opus Series D. <coughs> but you could also use a equivalent uh, sized makeup brush if you don't have those. So, and we will use our <coughs> Samizi Desert again and put in a tiny little dot of monster brown again but not as much as previously to make it a lighter version so and with that uh, we will simply uh, stipple now the yellow on see how this works we leave a little bit uh, of the old color behind and we stipple our way <coughs> towards the top so um, at this shield uh, you have uh, two um, directions you can go in you could uh, highlight from the uh, inside out or from the outside in so uh, in this case I want the uh, brighter colors to be uh, more on the inside and so I uh, start here and fade it out towards the outside. in the middle sections here so this is where I concentrate with the stippling Now we take our uh, yellow and mix in uh, some aerial yellow, <coughs> or golden yellow, or 
sun yellow what you have we mix it well in and then we start stippling again you see with uh, each step it gets faster and faster in the application <clears throat> because overall we are uh, stippling less amount <clears throat> in a tinier surface Said, I want the highest intensity here in the direct in the middle of the shield. And then we will <coughs> step more towards the outside with the driest brush. Make it nice and smooth. You can see. Now we uh, take an even lighter version of uh, yellow. I will now use uh, here a tenor yellow from uh, Scale Color. <coughs> it's a pastel yellow tone. Mix that in. spots <coughs> just like that <coughs> same goes for the shoulder pads and there we have it already our final highlight obviously use this uh, technique also for space marines for imperial fists if you want uh, some dirtied up yellow and I think that uh, gives a rather nice look to it so I will uh, quickly uh, properly wash out the brush and be right back okie dokie there I'm back and it's uh, time now to uh, dry brush the base and for that we take a, a bigger dry brush like this here <coughs> and we will mix ourselves a nice gray <coughs> so for that I start with uh, Eclipse Gray from Scare Color just like that <coughs> Give it a nice go. Uh, that. Ta da! So, and uh, now we will add some Wraith Bone. <coughs> if you don't have Wraith Bone, straight white would work as well. <coughs> smooth dry brush and 
now even brighter. Pure wraith bone. Very smooth and buttery. Ta da! And the base is almost done. Okay, there I'm back. Sorry to have cut that off quickly right there because my camera ran down of recording time. So um, now we are tackling uh, the leaves on the ground and for that we need some uh, oranges, browns and yellows. <coughs> and uh, to keep that uh, not too strong we uh, take some uh, muffled versions. So here we have um, a Mars orange from scale color. Mm. Let's start with that. <coughs> and we will just simply uh, paint some of the leaves in that color. Make it rather random, not every leaf in that color. But quite some. I think that's enough. Then we take our Zamezi Desert again. <coughs> okay, now we will mix both together maybe this leaf here give this one a few spots of brighter color there we go <coughs> then we tackle some brown with morphine brown with a little bit of orange here and there. Yeah, there we go. Give maybe that one a few dots. You get the point. So, and those are the leaves and the ground. <clears throat> so, uh, to be honest, this uh, texture here around the base, I really don't like that. And so, we will change that. Just like uh, with a normal base, I will cover that up with some sand. And for that, we take our trusted white glue here and We'll just simply paint exactly those spots. And cover that with sand. Easy as that. There's nothing that uh, stops you from reworking your base to your liking. You could add whatever you want to even such pre-made bases. <coughs> if 
you don't like it, change it. So, there we go. <coughs> and with that, <coughs> oh, we go now to our little sandbox. Take that base, put it in there, give it a little shake. Ridge line with your finger to remove the excess. And ta da! So, uh, this needs to dry now, and I'm back in a second. So, oh, and there I'm back, and now we take our good old Agrax Earthshade. To simply paint the sand. Easy as that. And with this shade, the sand will be, uh, well, Atomic bomb proof solidified on the base. After that, no need anymore to fear that any of the sand would come off. Yeah. That's it. Very easy. Oh, and you can also give here and there the leaves a little notch with the Agrax Earthshade <coughs> to make them not so flat again. It's a little nudge. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Again, this needs to dry now, and we can continue with the rest of the miniature. So the wash is dry now, as you can see here, and uh, it's time to give that part a little dry brush, and uh, we will mix up a little uh, brown tone with a Doom Bull brown and some of our previous uh, yellow that we had here, our mustard yellow variant of uh, Sahara yellow, <coughs> or if you have Avalot Sunset of, from GW, it will also work fine. So, mix that together, and with that we'll simply Go over the sand here quickly. that you leave a little bit of the brown color behind. We want a nice uh, well, three-dimensional feeling. And now we add a little bit of uh, <coughs> a wraith bone to make a final highlight. Change 
gently barely touching only the most upper spots and there you go <coughs> now that's uh, left to do on the base is uh, paint the edge <coughs> that we will do real quick I think for that uh, we will use here this uh, Dumbo Brown <coughs> why not or you could use black or bestial brown or Monfang brown or whatever you like whatever you prefer make sure you make a uh, one thin coat like that let that completely dry and then you go over it a second time so that the uh, black underneath doesn't uh, show through so yeah I will let that dry uh, and make a second coat and uh, well we will see us in just a second okay I'm back and now it is time uh, to highlight the metal and for that I'm using now at first black metal or the good old bolt gun metal or what have you as your darkest metal tone basically the one we used uh, at the start of the video <coughs> where we added black to and now we use it straight out of the pot and start highlighting the metal armor We will apply that to the raised areas, the most prominent ones, and obviously leave a lot of the very dark metal tone behind. easy and fast process just like that be careful <coughs> to not paint on your beige that you have there. We don't want to have to redo all that stuff. At this stage you can also correct painting mistakes like that here. Here, there you go, right there. Yeah, the feet down here. Yeah, I know this is a rather long tutorial. 
right now I'm painting in the middle of the night because uh, well in the early video we had all the interruptions with the noise in the background so I moved the painting to the middle of the night so we won't get any noise interruptions anymore hopefully so <clears throat> that was uh, stage number one with the highlight now we uh, take our next higher metal color <clears throat> I use now heavy metal for that palette you can uh, clearly see the color difference between those two <coughs> so with that we tackle the more even more raised areas Here, more of the top part of the knee pad. The rim of the shield. The entire top part of the maze. more there a bit more okay <clears throat> but that we can also quickly tackle here the little symbol and the get the point <coughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, also the little studs here on the leather. Now for the uh, final highlight, I'm using here a uh, white alchemy. It's a very, very bright metal color, super bright. <clears throat> I basically mix it in with the other metal color <clears throat> for the very, very final highlights. Just like that. For the metal parts. Be right back. So there I'm back and as you can see I've uh, taken the liberty of uh,
painting uh, the details here on the shield and uh, this little chain uh, with some warplock bronze. I haven't recorded that, sorry for that. But that wasn't uh, really important. I can report painting now this uh, symbol here on the shoulder instead. So it's quite simple. You take the warplock bronze and you paint the detail just like that. It's not like I have totally forgotten the symbol on the shoulder. No, definitely not. I, this was absolutely planned that I do this. <laughs> and now uh, we take some uh, nice gold color and uh, mix it in 50-50 with a warplock bronze. And we will highlight this bronze color now. Just like that, only the top raised areas. Just go slightly over it and we are already done. Barely touching, gently stroking. There we go. Now we take our, our bright silver here, heavy metal, <coughs> add a drop of that into the mix. And make a final highlight here and there. And well, it's done. So uh, this miniature is now battle ready for, uh, well, if you uh, like the clean paint job, this is now the end uh, for this video. I hope you uh, like this tutorial. And in the next video, hopefully, uh, press your thumbs that I uh, didn't, don't mess up. Um, we will dirten up this version here and uh, make it more dark and grimy. So, um, I hope you liked this tutorial and uh, well, we see us in the next video. You're Alexandra.